Hey folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, what we got tonight? We got. Uh, I was trying to do a light one tonight, and I've somehow managed to do a heavy one. <laughs> yeah. So we're starting off with the iced tea on Berlin Wittenberg. Uh, so chartered train to Berlin Main Station. Now it's the rail driver. It is rail. Superb. No. <clears throat> right, we're coming into Airport Berlin. Did I say ice? Sorry, ICA. I normally get it right these days. I normally. Is this the diesel or electric ICE? I believe it's the ICE T, which is the electric version. <coughs> right. Coming in. Something going a bit funky with the rail driver at the moment, in that uh, for some reason on this low cut at the moment it's not showing zero when I move the levers down. It's showing um, strange things. Right. That's that. Yeah, so we're at 4,000 subs now on YouTube, which is Thank you, everybody. Right, there we go. Good evening, Tyron One. And good evening to everyone else. I'm not even going to try saying everyone's names. That doesn't work. <laughs> Moggy wants me to send him the rail driver and the laptop and take a look. That's oh, really, really good of you, Moggy. <laughs> Stop is Berlin Main Station. TRFTW, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Next station is 42 kilometres away. The green signal in front of us, it's our final stop. Suddenly it's now 60. I thought it was 80. When did it become 60? Anyway, uh, Lucas owned. Read that not all locos come ready to use a rail driver. Is that correct? Um, yeah, I mean, not all, not all locos work. Uh, following the recent patch and the update that PI Engineering did, uh, most locos now work. But I'm not using the official software, I'm using my own software. So anything that doesn't work is probably down to some kind of weird mistake that I've got in my system. Rather than anything that actually telling, I'm, I'm surprised it isn't working. To be honest, because um, it's always worked in the past. Oh, we're back up to 80 speed limit again. It's always worked in the past. I'm sure I've driven this loco with a rail driver, so I might just have something daft working on uh, uh, wrong with my system. It's one of those things where maybe I just need a reboot or something crazy. More green lighty goodness. 120 speed limit. The Matt Special Driver. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Oops. Shitty Shelly Self Jr., thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Just gonna move this window. That's better.
Amtrak fan 45, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. 106 on the channel at the moment, according to the uh, Moobot. Daily Dorito, happy birthday for tomorrow. Another green. I can't move my camera down. I did have a look at um, OMG trains. Um, if I move it down, it cuts my head off. Or is that what you're getting at? <laughs> How did I get the sound for the follower message? I recorded a video of um, Peppercorn flying past me at full speed uh, and then extracted the audio. Another green, excellent. Oh, we've got 660. train up here. But he's not going as fast as I am. He's also going a different way to me. Green light. Uh, so folks, if you want, if it's a scenario that you want me to play, that's great. What you need to do is fill in the Google form. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, the link on the chat. Um, so if you fill in that form, fill in all the details of the scenarios you want me to play, I'll be happy to have a look at them. Two nine four over there. Dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear. Another green. Good night, first gear Sims. We'll see you later on. Someone just asked me to blow the horn. Deadly Dorito. No, Deadly Dorito. Deep right. Oh, 
Oh, 120 kmh, I missed that. Oh well. Bye bye, score! Flashing green, so we've got a reduction in speed. Hundred at the next signal. Uh, right, don't forget, folks. The map is based on uh, realistic lat long, and it's showing you the realistic terrain, which might not be necessarily where the um, the track actually has been placed by the author of the route. So. They won't always match up, but usually it matches up quite nicely. Alright, 100 at this signal. To the right. Yeah, still no transcoding. 117. Never mind. They presumably taken on more partners, which means that the uh, um, availability of transcoding resources has gone down for non-partnered streams. Reduction 280 for the next um, signal. Luca Libra. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. It's flashing again. Oh, that's again warning. Repeating the warning for the 80. That's fine. Lots of reminders of this 80. Who made this route? This was... I can't remember the name of the group. Um, it was Jan Blees that uh, actually made it. What are the green bars for? What do you mean, train boy? Train Team Berlin, is that who made this one? Thanks, Erjan. Green with an 80, so let's get a move on. Coming on Grossbieren. Another little bit of speeding going on here. Nine 
No, we aren't stopping here. I appear to be getting thoroughly trolled by my rail driver tonight. <laughs> I don't know what I've done to upset you. Can I do a flyby? Let me check the next signal. Lights changed again. It's thoroughly trolled by this rail driver. <laughs> Hi Moggy, yes I've got Active Sky next now. I haven't actually loaded FSX since I installed it, but I do have it. That's one of the ones I've been really, really waiting for. <laughs> brief moment of a wrong speed limit there by the looks of it. Is it worth it to get a rail driver? I would say yes, definitely. I really get on well with it, especially now it's been updated. It's um, I've got my own software that I use to drive it, but the software it comes with these days is good. Oh, we finally got transcoding. Look at that. Twelve kilometers. We should get a signal coming up in a minute because our ETA is locked in at the right time, so that suggests we have a red light coming up. see myself go over 160 that time. I'm obviously not. I am very tired at the moment, so it could be that. <laughs> Kepler F171, go to raildriver.com and download the latest version of the MacroWorks software. Um, that will make it work with the, um, the recent update to the core game that came out.
80 is the next speed limit. That's what I couldn't remember. When did Macroworks update the software? It was a while ago now. A couple of months, three months maybe. There's our red light. We're just outside Berlin now. So starter out of Berlin, Sud Cruise is um, red. Hey there, Tornado Ben. I am doing good, thank you. Cheers, train boy. Thanks for joining. Holiday vacation I took by train. Honestly, can't remember. I don't think I've ever taken a holiday by train. <laughs> All the holidays these days happen because of uh, my uh, transatlantic family. Holidays have got to be in America. Can't really get there by train. This building should cruise, which we are not actually supposed to be stopping. But we are getting held at a signal here. Well, we have a yellow starter. Twenty limit. Well, Eighty limit as of now. I'm sure, I just went. did that go yellow or did that go green? <laughs> I think it went green, didn't it? Green light. Logistic Dogface had two different plates of meatballs. I think that's only right and proper, to be honest. Meatballs should be enjoyed in bulk. Do I do Amtrak scenarios, uh, Deep Right? Certainly do. I've done loads of them in the past. I don't know if I've got anything planned for tonight, but uh, certainly done plenty of them. Right, we dive underground now. Family and I are planning to go on a trans Europe vacation between next summer. London to Rome stop in Paris. Wow! That sounds amazing. Right, starter out of Potsdamer Platz is red, so we're going to ease off power.
Good night, Danish bacon lover. When is the Dutch holiday coming up? Oh, I don't know at the moment. <laughs> so that was a yellow signal reminding us of what's coming up in about half a mile, so I'm just taking it easy. Well, that green looks interesting. I suggest we have a green within 80 kilometers an hour at the next signal. But yellow, superb. Berlin Main Station 8, there we go. This is our home signal to the platform then. Where am I actually from? Uh, I was born in Suffolk um, and I um, was uh, a, an RAF brat, so all over the country, but um, Western Supermare. Unst, just north of the s in, in the Shetland Islands, north of Scotland, for three and a half years. Uh, most of my life, though, has been in Suffolk. Um, places like Stew Market. Oh no, I shall definitely be having a holiday in uh, a Dutch holiday. It's uh, just finding the time. <laughs> I like the underground sections of this route, it's really um, interesting. What about a Scouse holiday? It's not high on my list, Fringe Stalin, I'm going to be honest. about a Nebworth holiday. I do plan on um, driving past there at some point and taking a photograph, a selfie, next to the Royal Nebworth sign, just because it has to be done. <laughs> Deadly Dorito, you've been filling up my suggestion things uh, with loads of stuff, which is all awesome. Thank you. Hey, Dean, welcome. Well done. Thank you for driving. Oh, we got plus 200 points. Yay. Except not on the final score, we didn't. Yeah, my passport don't cover Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, Kev, the Berlin Wittenberg route is very good actually. Uh, there's lots of lots of details on it which are uh, actually really excellent. Okay, what's up next? A little bit of shunting. Now I'm going to put it back onto this one for a minute, and I'm going to just cut the uh, the audio while I just uh, I think I'm going to restart the uh, the software and see if I can't make this controller work a little more reliably. I'll be back in a minute. 